Hello students, hope you all are doing good. So uh, I am Digvijay Singh, I am ACT Plus Educator on the uh, Unacademy platform and I have the 10 plus year of experience for the ACT tutoring, right? And uh, you know, I am plus verified educator on the Unacademy platform. Also, I am US certified for this ACT tutoring thing. Uh, so uh, now, we'll, today we'll do the plugin real values. This is a, you know, uh, I would say the technique, right? To, you know, do some algebraic questions really easy, right? And we'll do another technique as well that is work with the, you know, answer choices and get the uh, correct answer. Right. So uh, please join us with uh, join with us on you know Telegram and this is a Telegram channel link. You can you can click that and you can join uh, on the Telegram for the you know latest update about the SAT you know classes or SAT schedule uh, as well as the SAT new batches. Right. Also, uh, you can get the updates about the you know college board SAT if there is anything going to be changed in SAT uh, in future or something like that. So you can also get that updates, right? So uh, let me tell you guys about the, you know, Unacademy subscription features. So if you take the Unacademy subscription there, so there are some features. The, there's like live, uh, learn live from the comfort of your home. Definitely that's a very good, you know, feature uh, in this uh, duration of the COVID-19, right? And then you have the unlimited access of all the courses, right? You'll get, you'll have the top educator of India on one platform, right? Regular doubt clearing sessions and everything, mentorship and the guidance, study material that is uh, in PDF format, right? Practice tests, light test series, and the batch courses. Plus, you'll get daily practice section, right? You will get the you know practice on the daily basis. Then you'll get the weekly mock test series and the live quizzes. Then you'll get the daily MCQ question and the subjective test series as well. Now the one important thing is content. The content is plugin real number. Okay, so actually, like if I give you this question, right? Uh, like A and B are positive integers such that A plus B is equal to 9 and what is the value of B minus 9 divided by 4A? So you'll think, okay, uh, we just know A plus B is equal to 9 and then we need to find B minus 9 divided by 4A. So do we know the, you know, do we know the value of A and B individually with there? No, we do not know. Then how can we find the value of B minus 9 divided by 4A? Okay. Suppose you stuck in this question line, okay, then how, what can you do there? So definitely you can do A plus B is equal to 9. Let's assume A and B there, any, any value, but try to solve the positive integer, right? So A, let's suppose you take the 4, B, you take the 5, correct? because the sum of 4 and 5 should be 9 as well, right? Then what do we need to find? You need to find the value of B minus 9 divided by 4A, correct? So B that is 5 minus 9 divided by 4 times 4. So what do you get? You get minus 4 divided by 16, that is what? Minus 1 by 4. Do we have this in the answer choices? Yes, that is C and that's the answer look how is it is right you just assume a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 5 correct and then you see the because the sum was a sum of a and b is 9 so that's why you take a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 5 and then you find the value of what is the question asking right and the question is asking uh, b minus 9 divided by 4a you just plug in the values of the uh, B and uh, B is equal to 5 and A is equal to 4 that you assume and you'll get the negative 1 by 4. Look, how easy it is. Okay. Now, let me tell you this question using the algebra as, as well. Okay. Uh, but plugin definitely is a, you know, very quick approach when you stuck in any of the questions. So, you have A plus B is equal to 9. So you can find the value of either A or B as uh, as you wish. So if you say B, 
what will be b b is equal to 9 minus a correct what do we need to find you need to find b minus 9 divided by 4a correct so instead of b you can just plug in m minus uh, sorry 9 minus a so 9 minus a and minus 9 divided by 4a so 9 cancel with negative 9 so you get negative a divided by 4a and that is equal to negative 1 by 4 you get the same so like the both way are you know fine but still with, with the algebra some of the students have the you know the trouble with the algebra so they can definitely use the plugin thing right guys plugin makes the question much easier okay guys read this question then we'll do this as well Hope you read this let's do this now uh, when the positive integer m is divided by 7 divided by 7 the remainder is 4 okay what is the remainder when 2m is divided by 7 okay looks confusing confused right hmm so what you can do can you give me any number when you divide by 7 and you get the remainder as 4 right so say okay uh, what can be that number you know the remainder remainder is something like suppose if i divided you know 10 by 3 so 3 3 times you know 9 so 1 is remaining that is remainder right so that is the remainder okay so the thing is here uh, we need to uh, take a number for m so that when you divide by 7 that number so the remainder should be 4 so you can take definitely take the you know 11 so you when you divide 11 by 7 you get the remainder as 4 but let me tell you a very good trick and the trick is what take the number that is already remainder 4 yes so if you take the 4 because if you divide it by 4 divide it 4 by 7 so definitely it is not working right so it's zero working zero times only so it's zero so remainder is ultimately 4 so take the number that is m is equal to 4 correct now what is the question asking what is the remainder when 2m is divided by 7 so 2m so 2 times m that is equal to 8 when 8 is divided by 7 so 7 1 7 1 is remaining and that is the remainder so what is the remainder there guys 1 that's the answer Hope you understood this question. Please check this. I'm giving you a few seconds for that. Okay, next, uh, like we have this question. This is uh, is x by 3 is equal to y by 2, which of the following is equivalent to y by 9. Okay, then uh, what can we do here? Can you assume a number for x? What should we assume for x and y there actually? So that we get the same answer from here and here. So x uh, suppose 9 by 3 is 3 and y 6 by 2 is 3. So x we assume 9 and y we assume 6. Now the question is what is the value of y by 3? y by 3 means we assume y as 3. So 6 uh, y as 6. So 6 divided by 3 that is equal to 2. Ultimately what do we need to find? We need to find 2. Right? Need to find. Need to find from the answers. So you can just plug in x is equal to 9 in the answer and then check from where you are getting 2. So 9 by 6, no, that's not equal to 2. Just eliminate that. 
2 times 9 by 9 because you are plugging for x not y so and x is equal to 9 you took and so 9 cancel by 9 so you get 2 very good 9 divided by 3 3 no it should be you know and then you get 2 times here 9 divided by 3 it will not be so only b gives you the 2 understand so here actually the the whole scenario was like x by 3 is equal to y by 2 then which of the following is equivalent right so we assume x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 6 and then we work through the problem and uh, we get y by 3 as 2 so we need to find 2 from the answer choices and that is b although this question i think you can do with the help of algebra uh, the much easier but definitely i am telling you the technique of the you know plugin so let me tell you with the help of algebra so you get x by 3 is equal to y by 2 and what do you need to find y by 3 so first of all you need to check for y what is y right if you need to isolate the y so definitely you need to get rid of this 2 right and if you want to get rid of this 2 so what you can do you can just multiply by 2 both sides right so if you multiply by 2 both sides so this multiply here and this multiply here so you get 2x by 2x by 3 is equal to y and what do you need to find by 3 so you can divide it by 3 both sides so you get 2x uh, by 3 divided by 3 that means 3 times 3 is equal to y divided by 3 and then you get 2x by 9 is equal to y divided by 3 yeah you get this right guys now another is work with the answer this is also very great technique right let me tell you how so you have the three consecutive integers are such that four times the least is the three times the greatest. What is the greatest of these in three integers? So, okay, if I ask you what is the greatest of these three integers, of course, definitely the answer will be like out of six, eight, 10, and 12, right? And if I say, let's work with the answer choices, okay, how? So the question is asking the greatest. What is the greatest, right? So let me start with D because 12 is the greatest, right? Uh, the question is saying which of the greatest is the three integers. So you can take, let's suppose 12 is the, you know, the greatest of the integer. So if 12 is the greatest integer, then what will be the, because there are three consecutive integers. So smaller will be 11 and the, then more smaller, the least will be, you know, 10. So this is greater and the least will be 10, right guys? But now what is the question saying? 4 times the least is 3 times the greater. So, 4 times the least is what? 40. And 3 times the greater is what? 36. So, 40 is equal to 36. No, it is not. You can eliminate the D. Now, if you take the 10, so it will be 8. And it will be what? Oh, sorry, it will be 9. And the least will be what? 8. Correct? Now, what is again the same scenario is there? 4 times the least, that means 32. 32. 4 times the least is 3 times the greatest. So, 3 times the greatest is 30. That doesn't work as well. Any when you take 8, so what will be the smaller one? 7. And what will be the then? 6. So, 4 times of 6, that is equal to 24, is 3 times of 8, that is equal to again 24. Yes, you got it. Bingo. You get the B. Right, guys? So, this is how you can work with the, you know, answer choices and you can get the perfect answer to the question this this uh, you know i personally uh, like this uh, technique a lot because even the difficult question i have seen you know correct with this technique only very good technique okay guys can you try this at least read the question understand then then i'll tell you how to solve Okay, guys, so this is given as when each side of a particular square is lengthened by 
2 inches that means in the side has been increased by 2 inches the area of square is increased by 32 square inches what is the length in inches of a side of a original square okay this is a question if you try to solve this with the help of you know uh, algebra so definitely it will take time you need to understand to make the you know equation there and everything but what is ultimately asking the question is asking what is the length of the side of the original square okay so that will be out of these four answer choices only side you can start with b and c because uh, the if you see the answers that are in increasing order so if you use the b or five or six so definitely you will get the idea that you should use the you know the smaller value the larger for the side of the square so let's start with the five okay so the original you know original side is uh, six so what is the original area so original area is 25 uh, original side i take five so original area is 25 then i uh, make the square uh, in side increase by two inches so increase the side is now seven so what is the area now 49 right guys so now the area is increased by 32 so 49 minus 25 is it 32 no it's just like 24 so it's not 32 right so you just eliminate the b because that's not the answer so what should you try for four or six i think six because six and then the the next number is square that will have the next the more difference right we need the more difference we need the 32 of the difference so if you take the side the original side as six so then the you know area will be what 36 correct and uh, now the you know the square side has been increased by two so definitely the side is eight now and then what will be that 64 will be the area so now what is this 64 minus 36 so that is i think 28 right guys that is also not the answer so you know the this difference is going to be increased so definitely the next will be the d should be answer but let's check it so if you have the seven so area is 49 now the uh, you know the side has been increased to nine and the area is about uh, 81 now so how much the area has been increased 81 minus 49 that is is equal to 32 as same as the questions understand guys so look the how you know how easy uh, this technique makes the question right definitely if you you know work through these techniques and you'll uh, uh if you you know uh, come to uh, the all the videos on the academy will definitely make you know more videos of these type of techniques and those these type of techniques are definitely helpful for you know getting the perfect score or score anything about 750 700 in math believe me this type these type of techniques works a lot right guys so uh actually yeah so uh this is uh, something i an academy story opens on 13th of march and the delhi address is uh 30 pusa road all rajendra nagar near metro pillar 121 register is mandatory to visit okay so you can register for this if you want to visit the an academy store there and uh, we have this for SET. For SET, definitely we have. You can go to the you know the website as well, uh, the you know app as well. And uh, till thirty first of March, actually we guys are giving you you know some of the good offer. And uh, that is like if you take the six month subscription for the you know SET uh, on the An Academy, right? So you'll get the free IELTS subscription because ultimately you need the IELTS score as well, right? So if with the SAT, you'll get that free, right? You didn't, you don't need to take the SAT, uh, the IELTS subscription, uh, like individually. So you'll get the like six months uh, SAT subscription and you'll get the, you know, free IELTS subscription, right? And uh, you are, uh, definitely you are getting the six, six months subscription at the rate, at the, you know, at the price of 7,200 now, that is, that goes to 18,000, 18, right? So that will be, you can get that only in 7,200. So almost you are getting 60% discount. Wow. And this offer is valid till 31st March. So please be quick and then. So an Academy free special class features and the feature is what the definitely you can, if you are taking the free class on the, you know, an Academy. So you can uh real time interaction using the chat and emojis emojis you guys like a lot nowadays and uh, uh you can ask question using the questions tab 
you can ask any of the question there you can be live poll option for the quiz okay so uh, like we'll give you the you know options for the quiz there or any of the questions you will have the you know live poll option there you can just mark your answer there okay a b c d whatever and then poll leaderboard compete with your friends right so suppose you have the uh, students there like 10 students 15 30 like uh, 700 student 1000 student so there will be like leaderboard right so like the the one who will give the most number of questions correct will, will come on the top like that okay so there will be a leaderboard bugs bounty was always there right if any of the student you know opportunity for old under to report any of the inappropriate content in the video be the first one to report the like these things are you know you can be the first to you know report all these things so guys thank you very much don't forget to subscribe us like and share as much as possible thank you guys bye bye take care bye guys